All right, guys, so Ecomi just released that they're going to have Bill and Ted on one of the upcoming Comic-Con drops, but there's a little bit of breadcrumbs embedded in the Medium article that gives you a bigger understanding of where we're going to go in the future. So stay tuned. Please watch the whole video because you don't want to miss this. But like always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and hit that notification bell and let's get right to it. All right, guys. So we have VV collecting 2.0, party on dudes, Bill and Ted are coming to VV. All the details are here in this Medium article. And there's actually some interesting things here. So let's kind of get into this. VV welcomes Bill and Ted. Time traveling duo Bill and Ted are to become the first ever NFTs from the hit comedy film. So this is actually... Pretty neat. I think this was actually one of the first movies I ever saw when I was a little kid. I barely remember it. It's so old. David Yu says, Bill and Ted is an iconic comedy franchise and represents the type of brands Vivi is proud to be partner with. As Bill and Ted need to collect historical figures for their history presentation, Vivi collectors can do the same with these premium NFTs and be part of a digital collectible revolution. That's actually pretty neat. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure has also considered Keanu Reeves' breakthrough role as an actor and has since launched a range of spin-offs around the characters, including television series, video games, and comics. More recently, the pair reunited for a third film, Bill and Ted Face the Music 2020. I never saw that, actually. So Now, this is some interesting... This is the part where it gets really, really interesting. And actually, I'll be honest, I'm not the first one to highlight this. I probably am the first one to film this and push this video out, but I'm not the one that discovered it. There's quite a few other YouTubers like Hello K, for example, that, that knew about this. But I'm going to put this video out because I think it's really cool. This is from Rand Marlis, president of Creative Licensing. Vivi is changing the world of digital collectibles through innovative technology and streamlined user accessibility. We knew very quickly they would be the perfect partner to make Bill & Ted digital collectibles a reality for the first time. Another key thing here, again, this is not me discovering this, but it's, uh, a, a lot of other content creators know this as well, but the true likenesses of Ted, Theodore, Logan, Keanu Reeves, and Bill S. Preston, Alex Winter, as well as a highly detailed replica of the mem memorable phone booth time machine from the film. So probably the first, actually I know it is, it's the first collectible with the likenesses of the actual actors. So that's got to be worth something, definitely. This is the interesting, the meat and potato about the video. We have creative licensing. It's a full service independent merchandise licensing agency that specializes in long-term brand development. Okay, sounds like a generic name, right? Let's take a look at their website. Bam. <laughs> Bam, are you serious? Like... These are some big brands, CLC Creative Licensing, Rambo. Wow. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. So they got a lot of brands, okay, definitely. And this is interesting too, Evil Dead the Game, Diversion 3, Evil Dead 2. We actually talked about this on the stream. I don't know if you... Some of you may have heard it, some of you probably didn't, but we did talk about Evil Dead being a pretty cool creative property, and they're designing a game. I wonder I wonder if that's going to be on the Vivi-verse. That's kind of the question I have, is, is this something that's going to be on the Vivi-verse? Anyways, speculation. Is an Adidas original and Kid Cudi Bill and Ted collaboration? Wow. Shoes. Be cool. So look at all these properties they have, and then they're all based off of movies. So you, so these are all the properties from Creative Licensing. As you can see, there's quite a bit of properties. You know, Ace Ventura, Bill and Ted, Escape from New York, Terminator. Huge Terminator fan, by the way. So it's not too much of an analytical jump to assume that since they're doing a Bill and Ted based NFT, what about all these other properties? Could we eventually see these other properties? on Vivi. I mean, that'd be really cool. I'm actually a huge Terminator fan. It's probably one of my most favorite movies of all time. Terminator 2. Terminator 1's okay, but uh, you know, Terminator 2 is probably a classic. But, you know, Rambo, Halloween. So quite a bit of properties here. You know, some of these are like, eh, Black Hawk Down. Um, is that really, I don't know. Highlander, that's a big property for sure. 
Universal Soldier. That'd be interesting. Total Recall. I'm trying to find things that I imagine could be. Spinal Tap, that's kind of a cult classic. We could see something like that on VV. Zulu. It's a classic film. A lot of horror here. You know, with the recent drop, I mean, that's kind of a horror-based thing. Uh, so I'm not a big horror movie fan, but, you know, I, I guess you could turn this into an NFT, so to speak. Oh, Puppet Master. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. Puppet Master would be cool. Man, sky's the limit. You know, they did talk about maybe potentially having music as an NFT on VV. I don't know what that would look like, but it could be interesting. So one thing here, I was just looking on their website for creative licensing, and they have a lot of new game deals. This is basically a public uh, release, a PR-type release. Uh, they're, they've been expanding their roster of digital games, introducing some new or familiar action heroes from the 80s and 90s to a new generation of gamers and fans through DLC licenses. And kind of the biggest thing, you I don't know if you've seen this game, but Mortal Kombat 11, uh, they, they had Rambo as a character there. And then, you know, World of Tanks, there was a, a Rambo kind of collaboration with, with Snake Plissken from Escape from New York. We also see here uh, Sarah Connor, T-800 from the Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Uh, also on uh, Fortnite, for example, plus the Evil Dead, the game set to release in summer 2021. You know, so, so I'm filming this as I'm learning about this, but basically uh, Evil Evil Dead, the game is not going <laughs> to obviously probably not going to be a VV-verse type game because it says it's going to release on PlayStation 5, blah, 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 you know, Microsoft Windows. I guess it could, but probably from the context of this, I don't think that's happening. But, uh, but interesting. And the point of this is basically we're realizing that, you know, with these licenses, what are you going to do with these licenses? Are you going to make another movie again? They're worth something, but how are you going to cash in on them? Things like using their licenses in creative ways like using their characters for video games is probably an easy way to cash in that's why i think with all these properties all these licenses that we just went over it's a no-brainer to just flip them to vv turn them into nfts because you know there's fans out there it's an easy way to cash in so i don't see how they couldn't turn all their creative properties into vv nfts or vv digital collectibles it's just a no-brainer it's an easy way for them to get extra money. You know, whoever the CEO of Creative Licenses is, you know, they're going to look brilliant because for the next couple of years, while they're flipping all their properties to something like Vivi, they're going to bring in all this revenue that they never knew existed. And that's why I think NFTs are such a big deal. It's just a new frontier for companies to take their beloved licenses and actually turn it into a profit and turn it into something that their fans could enjoy instead of just sitting in the corner doing nothing, right? This is exciting. Definitely, we're going to get a lot of licenses coming up. So not only are the drops we're going to get pretty soon with Bill and Ted, not only is that exciting, but but the assumption that the company will probably also use their library of content that they have. We just saw quite a bit uh, of content that they have available. They could potentially turn that into NFTs. So this is a big thing for VV fans. But it's also a big thing for investors. So definitely really exciting times with this company. You just never know what's going to happen. Things could change in a, in, a, in a week, really. So really cool. Anyways, that's all I have for me. If you enjoy this type of content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay?